quaint village nestled between rolling hills and lush meadows, there was a small cottage covered in ivy. The cottage belonged to an old woman named Clara, who was known for her green thumb and her enchanting garden filled with the most beautiful flowers and plants. Clara lived alone, but she was content with her life, tending to her garden and occasionally helping the villagers with her vast knowledge of herbs and remedies. In the village lived a young girl named Emily. She was an inquisitive and adventurous child with chestnut hair and sparkling hazel eyes. Emily loved spending time outdoors, exploring the fields and woods around her home. She had always been fascinated by Clara's garden, which seemed almost magical in its beauty and variety. However, there was one part of the garden that Clara never allowed anyone to enter. A small, gated section at the very back, hidden behind tall hedges. One sunny afternoon, while playing near Clara's cottage, Emily noticed something glinting in the grass. She bent down to pick it up and discovered it was an old, ornate key. Curious about what it might unlock, she tucked it into her pocket and continued playing. Later that day, as she passed by Clara's garden, Emily's eyes were drawn to the mysterious gated section. She had always wondered what lay beyond the gate, and now, with the key in her possession, she felt a surge of excitement and curiosity. She waited until Clara went inside for her afternoon tea, then quietly approached the gate. Emily slipped the key into the rusty lock and turned it with a satisfying click. Slowly, she pushed open the gate, revealing a hidden garden unlike anything she had ever seen. It was a place of breathtaking beauty, with vibrant flowers, lush greenery, and a small sparkling pond in the centre. Butterflies flitted from flower to flower, and the air was filled with the sweet scent of blooming plants. As Emily wandered deeper into the garden, she noticed a small stone bench near the pond. On the bench sat an old leather-bound book. She picked it up and carefully opened it, revealing pages filled with handwritten notes and sketches of plants and flowers. The book seemed to be a journal of some sort, detailing the history and secrets of the hidden garden. Emily spent hours reading the journal, learning about the special plants and their magical properties. She discovered that Clara's family had tended to this garden for generations, each passing down their knowledge and adding to the journal. The garden was more than just a place of beauty. It was a sanctuary of rare and magical plants that could heal, protect, and even grant wishes. As the sun began to set, Emily knew she had to return home. She carefully closed the journal and placed it back on the bench then quietly left the garden, making sure to lock the gate behind her. She couldn't wait to visit the hidden garden again and learn more about its secrets. Over the next few weeks, Emily returned to the garden whenever she could, reading the journal and exploring the magical plants. She was careful to keep her visits a secret, not wanting to betray Clara's trust. However, one day, as she was tending to a particularly rare flower, she heard a voice behind her. I see you found my garden, Clara said, her voice gentle but firm. Emily turned, her heart pounding with fear and guilt. I'm sorry, Clara, she said, her eyes filling with tears. I found the key and couldn't resist. Please don't be angry. Clara's expression softened and she knelt down to embrace Emily. I'm not angry, my dear, she said. In fact, I'm glad you found the garden. I've been looking for someone to share its secrets with. Someone who would appreciate its beauty and magic. Relief washed over Emily as Clara led her to the stone bench. They sat together, and Clara began to tell her sir, the stories of the hidden garden, the magical plants, and the generations of caretakers who had come before them. She showed Emily how to care for the plants, teaching her their uses and the rituals that kept the garden flourishing. From that day on, Emily and Clara tended the hidden garden together, their bond growing stronger with each passing day. Emily learned the ways of the garden, and Clara found joy in sharing her knowledge and 
seeing the garden through Emily's eyes. Years later, when Clara's time came to pass on, Emily became the new guardian of the hidden garden. She continued to care for it, just as Clara had taught her, and eventually passed its secrets on to her own children. The hidden garden remained a sanctuary of magic and beauty, a testament to the enduring bond between Clara and Emily, and the power of nature's wonders. As Emily grew older, her love and knowledge of the hidden garden deepened. She spent countless hours there, tending to the magical plants and keeping the garden thriving. The journal Clara had left behind became her most treasured possession, filled with detailed notes and sketches that guided her every action. One crisp spring morning, Emily noticed a new plant sprouting near the pond. It had delicate silver leaves that shimmered in the sunlight, and tiny pale blue flowers that seemed to glow with an inner light. She had never seen this plant before, and it wasn't mentioned in Clara's journal. Intrigued, Emily decided to document its growth and observe its properties. As the weeks passed, the mysterious plant grew taller and more radiant. Emily named it Moonflower because its blossoms opened at night and emitted a soft, soothing light. She discovered that the Moonflower had remarkable healing properties, capable of curing even the most stubborn ailments. The villagers soon heard of this miraculous plant and they began visiting Emily, seeking remedies for their illnesses. Emily was happy to help but she was careful to keep the exact location of the hidden garden a secret. She didn't want it to become overrun or exploited. Instead, she would bring the needed herbs and potions to the village, always returning to the sanctuary of the garden to replenish her supplies. One day, a stranger arrived in Seabreeze. He was a tall man with dark hair and piercing green eyes, wearing a cloak that seemed to blend into the shadows. His name was Alaric, and he claimed to be a herbalist and healer from a distant land. The villagers were wary of him at first, but his knowledge of plants and his charismatic personality quickly won them over. Alaric was particularly interested in the tales of the Moonflower and the miraculous cures it provided. He approached Emily, offering to share his knowledge and help her improve her remedies. Although Emily was initially cautious, she saw the potential benefits of collaborating with someone so knowledgeable. They began working together, exchanging information and experimenting with new combinations of herbs. As they spent more time together, Emily found herself drawn to Alaric's charm and intelligence. He seemed genuinely interested in the hidden garden and its secrets, and he often praised Emily for her dedication and skill. However, there was always a nagging doubt in the back of her mind, a feeling that she couldn't quite shake. One evening, as they were working late in the garden, Alaric mentioned a rare plant he had heard of in his travels, a plant that could supposedly grant immense power to anyone who possessed it. Emily listened with interest, but felt a growing sense of unease. She couldn't help but wonder if Alaric's interest in the garden was purely altruistic. Days turned into weeks, and Emily noticed subtle changes in Alaric's behaviour. He began asking more questions about the hidden garden's location and its most powerful plants. He seemed particularly fixated on the moonflower and its abilities. Emily decided to be more cautious, withholding certain information and keeping a closer watch on Alaric's actions. One night, Emily couldn't sleep. She decided to take a walk in the garden to clear her mind. As she approached the pond, she saw a shadowy figure near the moonflower. It was Alaric, carefully harvesting its blossoms and roots. Her heart sank, realising that her worst fears were coming true. Alaric, what are you doing? She demanded, her voice trembling with a mix of anger and betrayal. Alaric turned to face her, his expression cold and calculating. I need this plant, Emily. With his power, I can achieve things you can't even imagine. I didn't come here.
here just to help you. I came here to find the Moonflower and use its magic for my own purposes. Emily felt a surge of sadness and disappointment, but also a fierce determination. You can't take it, Alaric. This garden is meant to heal and protect, not to be exploited for personal gain. Alaric smirked, stepping closer. You can't stop me, Emily. This garden holds power beyond your understanding, and I intend to claim it. In that moment, Emily knew she had to act, drawing on everything Clara had taught her. She reached out to the garden itself, feeling its energy flow through her. The plants seemed to respond, their leaves rustling and flowers glowing brighter. With a wave of her hand, the moonflower's blossoms closed tightly, their light dimming. You underestimate the bond I have with this garden, Emily said firmly. Leave now and never return. Alaric's eyes narrowed, but he saw the resolve in Emily's gaze and the power of the garden surrounding her. He knew he couldn't win. With a final resentful glare, he turned and disappeared into the night. Emily stood there for a long time, the garden quiet around her. She felt a deep sense of loss, but also a renewed commitment to protect the hidden garden. She realised that it was not just a place of beauty and healing, but also a place that needed guarding from those who would misuse its gifts. The next day, she shared the story with a few trusted villagers, explaining the importance of keeping the garden's secrets safe. They promised to help her protect it, knowing how much the garden meant to their community. As the years went by, Emily continued to care for the hidden garden, sharing its healing powers with those in need, while keeping its location and true nature a closely guarded secret. The story of the lighthouse keeper's daughter, who became the guardian of the hidden garden, was passed down through generations, inspiring others to cherish and protect the natural wonders around them.